Okay, so here is a board that's already been stained. It's actually been stained black. This is not the provincial I use normally, but the client wanted black. So um, I don't even sand it. I just uh, apply it to three sides. You can see the back I leave uh, just plain. Um, so now I'm gonna start applying the vinyl. Okay, so here is my vinyl. Um, I have a vinyl plotter, so my vinyl is all in one big long sheet, but you can do this on the smaller sheets, just in sections. Um, and I will include this SVG file for anyone who wants it um, at the end of this video. So uh, first what I do is I just kind of line up the vinyl. Um, and I'll do it this way. Line up the vinyl on the board, just kind of roughly, not a perfect science. But what I want is the edge of these hash marks to be right on the end of the board. So I kind of fold over my vinyl a little bit to, to start to see that I am straight and that um, I'm right there on the edge. And once I feel like I have it lined up pretty good, and the bottom looks pretty good, I kind of test the top, the middle, and the bottom to see that I'm pretty lined up. And you'll see once you get going, it's, it's uh, not an exact science. Um, so once I get that going, I put a little piece of tape down just to hold it. So I'll put a quick piece tape down, maybe a little piece here, and a little piece at the bottom. Okay, so I have my clear piece of transfer paper um, from the dollar store. I just cut off a piece that I think would work well. And um, I start at the top, and I put it on here. Okay, I have this little roller tool. I think it's an antique, actually. Um, but that's what I roll my, um, my transfer paper onto my vinyl. Um, I think most people have like a flat credit card type thing, but I use this little <laughs> ancient little tool. Um, so now I just peel back the back of the vinyl. And if you were doing this in sheets, um, it would probably be easier, actually, um, instead of one long big roll, because I have to kind of fold down this backing as I go. But again, I'm gonna line up these hash marks right here at the end with the edge of my board to make sure I'm getting this straight. And then I just want to, and vinyl is pretty great because it's kind of stretchy, so I just want to make sure that I'm still right on the edge all the way down. And it's great because these boards have a natural straight edge on the end, so, um, you know, just take advantage of that straight edge to line up your vinyl. What's great about this is your vinyl doesn't have to be perfect. Like, you see I have this big lump in the middle of my vinyl and it doesn't matter because I'm, we're using this as a stencil and we're painting. So um, I just wanna get the edges flat down. Okay, so uh, that's the first section that I'm gonna take off my transfer tape. The vinyl should Stick to my board. If you um, try to do this too soon and your stain hasn't dried for at least 24 hours, uh, your vinyl will probably not stick to it very well. Um, just take your time. Do all of your staining at once. Um, and then do other stuff. So. Here we go, our next section. I'm just gonna do the exact same thing all the way down the board. I'm just gonna peel 
the backing off. I didn't even get the get it straight here, but that's okay. Um, and again, I'm using this straight edge of the board to be my guide. And you're gonna do this all the way down the board. It takes about, I don't know, five minutes maybe, if I wasn't talking to a camera. So, I have the vinyl applied. You can see uh -huh. it's totally not straight and perfect, but what you want are these edges to be all the way sealed and down. That's really what you care about. And don't skimp on taping off the rest of your board, um, any areas that are showing that you don't want painted. Um, I have a different technique um, that I use. I don't use uh, stencils and um, paint like you would normally think. I'm gonna show you what paint I use. But uh, before I paint, I usually like to just make sure all of these little pieces that are puckering up are down and see like I ripped it right there so I'll probably put a little piece of tape there like I did here I accidentally ripped it so anyway we're pretty close to getting ready to paint now at this point okay folks I'm about to share my most prized secret ingredient for making all of my signs and it's that I don't stencil on the paint with the the stencil brush I actually use drum roll please spray primer. This stuff is awesome. So it goes on really thick and chalky, and you can also use like chalky spray paint, um, or you can use, um, but don't use spray paint, don't use normal spray paint, because it's really runny and watery, and it gets down behind the vinyl. So this is the only thing I've found. I use Bullseye one, two, three, but um, I've used a few others. This is just the kind I like, and then you can get a really big bottle for like four bucks. And I do probably 10 or 15 or 20 signs with one bottle, so it goes a long way. And you'll see how fast it is. So in using um, primer, you always wanna stay um, about 12 inches, at least 12 inches away. And I just do short, even bursts all the way up to the top. You're gonna see how fast we are gonna paint this sign, watch. Shake it up really good. And start from the top or the bottom. And you just do a quick little spray. Remember you're wanting to stay 12 or 14 inches away. I don't like to do a big continuous spray. You can, but I think it just kind of um, wastes it a little bit. I like to I like it to go as far as possible. And that's it. I just painted that sign so fast. And I give it about two or three minutes to dry and then I peel off the vinyl. And then I spray a quick coat of uh, polyurethane. Let me show you what I use. I use this water-based um, polyurethane, and uh, yeah, I will show you what it looks like at the end. This is my favorite part of every project, peeling up the vinyl. Oh, look at that crisp, look at that. Whoa. So here's a few boards that um, I've already done, and um, you can see at the top, I like to put a little uh, personalization, the child's name and the date that they were born. These are done in the provincial that I love. Um, aren't they pretty? So yeah, I'll even get close. You can see how crisp that paint gets. Isn't that awesome? Look how pretty. So pretty. So anyway, thanks. Go make some boards.